This is Rod Kusin and Spooman with Risk. Um, it is uh, March the 12th, the afternoon. We're just moving into the uh, 1 o'clock uh, time frame, uh, central time. And uh, we just want to discuss where we think this is going. I believe it's going to drop down to 42. And uh, let me show you why. We take ourselves back all the way to the eighth and right in here right at uh, 1542 okay we see a value area and uh, therefore I believe that's where we're we're headed right around to 42 so uh, taking profits at 42 uh, for the close of the day may be a uh, a good idea. Uh, our other, we, we've placed a new indicator on the uh, premium as well, and I'm finding it's it's uh, it's it's pretty interesting. It's a, it's a very interesting little indicator that uh, we picked up, uh, which in in conjunction with our standard uh, indicator on the premium. Uh, works uh, quite well, really quite well. You can you can line up these uh, indicators, like this uh, this high here. As we were moving, let's move up to this point here. Real good reason to short that. As we just began to slope down, the indicator in uh, subgraph three here. Uh, couldn't even make it above the zero line. And so nice opportunity to short that move right in there. Uh, moving down to, to this point here, you can see we've, we're picking up steam on both indicators. Coming back down, riding it up again. No strength in here, and then finally one more move up to here, and just turning right in there as we uh, go from the uh, blue to the yellow, right in there. Nice top. You can see the divergence as well, right in here, dropping below um, the uh, upper threshold uh, level. We've also used another technique for calculating the upper threshold, which uh, we'll talk about another day. But uh, just a very brief uh, recap of the of the uh, trading activity, and uh, we're sh we're shooting for 1542, and we'll come back at the uh, after the close and re recap uh, our activity at that point in time. So. Uh, We'll put everything on pause and look to see a new low in just a few minutes. All right, well, that uh, didn't take very long. So there was your 42, just as we had anticipated. Um, where it'll go from here, we we could go we could go lower. I think it's a little early for us to be seeing the low for the day. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a little early for the low of the day. So we, we may drop a little bit further. We've got some other areas below this, but uh, we'll talk about that another time. So we'll pause this and then return uh, after the close. So we're now going to uh, finish up our uh, recap uh, of the trading activity we had uh, uh, talked about 42 being a uh, value area and uh, just to review that we go back to the eighth right in here was the value area right there so that as you can see was 42 and that is what we anticipated and that is exactly what occurred now, 
when the market rallied back up, we came back to the same value area right in here, uh, right around the high there of uh, 15, uh, 46 and a half, right in that neighborhood. So going back to the, uh, the premium for a moment, our divergence right in here was uh, significant and a nice uh, nice return uh, back up to that value area. Very, uh, that was impressive. That was really impressive. Uh, indicators worked great. Uh, you could see huge divergence uh, on uh, our indicator in subgraph uh, 3 here and then uh, correspondingly all of our other indicators were pointing up at this point in time. So once we got back up into this area, we we noticed how the uh, premium was forecasting a bit of a drop in, in here. And then we became divergent uh, again. Indicators all pointing up. Up she went. Premium is still going up. And then right up in here, right after that high on the premium, you saw the uh, divergence on the premium as well. And that's as far as she went. No strength up in here. So we tested that a few times, but really nothing more to talk about. There wasn't really any anything, pre uh, there were no naked bars per se to uh, give us a point of retracement. The first one that, that was a possibility, however, was right here. Let's, uh, let's expand that out just a bit. Uh, so you can see why we were looking at that bar. Because this low on the premium, while not lower than the previous low here, nevertheless, was uh, it was not divergent. Uh, and I would have originally thought this the market may be coming back down to 44 and a quarter. Uh, however, premium went lower over here, and we, being that we were at a much higher level there, the uh, predicted value of the premium was resolved right there and then. And so this uh, bar on the premium, followed by the divergence right in here, um, that's as far as she went. Okay. All right, so that's our uh, recap for the day. Excellent day of trading, very predictable, excellent trades. And uh, we, we teach you how to read the premium. That, that's, that's our forte. Uh, if you don't know how to read the premium, this is the place to come. It is the best indicator around. And if you know how to do this, you can anticipate what the market will do before it occurs and be able to see very good setups that uh, uh, where your entries uh, have virtually no lag uh, because we're not we're not working with a lagging indicator we're working with a leading indicator and that indicator is the prem so as for a demo uh, everything that you see on our charts is a part of the indicators that we provide along with the training <laughs> uh, there's nobody that does this and even our best competitor won't tell you the things that we tell you. So in any case, uh, we look forward to hearing from you. This is Rod Kusnan Spooman for Risk.